wake up? Wake up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. And so the universe br All right, let's get started. So we've got a couple of lakes. Um, Trying to look for one that has a good amount of forest and rock around it. Uh, I think this might be the best. We do not need tips. Alright. So I guess we'll just start right here. So we're going to have the archive nice queued up. Um, residential is going to take a little bit for all of these two nuggets for them to just cut down all this wood. Um, we should probably help them. Because um, they do need to clear out all of this before they can start making more nuggets. Any of these stones? No. Why would you want to pick up a stone? That's silly. Alright, so we got the water wheel. I'm gonna need this for any building. So, I'm going to go ahead and build three of them right now, as is pretty usual for my starts. Water pit's not in the best place, but Archive kind of took the best place. 
You gotta be kidding me. Universum, why, why do you not like being played? I don't understand. Wake up. Wake up. All right, let's try this again. Now we have a massive lake. Holy crap. All right, I guess we're we have to use this. Um So where would I mean I I kind of want to just build it here. This looks like a pretty good spot, but also this area over here looks pretty good too. This is a lot of expansion, a lot of flat ground. Hmm. I think I'm going to go right here. So let's go ahead and build it right there. Yes. Okay. Alright, so now let's get some research going. Primitive tools, dug well, water wheel, and water storage, and fire. Go ahead and help them with this. Oh, I didn't mean to pick you up. I meant to pick up a tree. My bad. In fact, we can throw this at other stuff. There. That's all the helping that we can do. So now it's just time to wait. All right, so we got the water wheel. So let's go ahead and build three water wheels right on the shore here. Just like so.
We need some rock. Um, I mean, there is some stones around. Yeah, right here. Primitive cooking. Um, yeah, we'll go for the upgraded water well. They did not build the residential in the best area, apparently. Uh, so many trees for them to clear. <laughs> This is taking them forever to build the residential. This is by far the longest I've ever waited for this residential house to be finished. You guys made the decision of making your residential right here. I don't know why you guys did, but that was your decision. Now you guys are paying the consequences. You guys might not have a house for winter. That would really suck.
I wonder if our nuggets are actually going to die just because they built their house here. That would be kind of ironic. They're just that stupid. Alright, let's get back to work. You two have a lot of work to do. You guys could have built it literally anywhere else. That would have had less trees and not a pot, massive pile of stone there. They're going to die through winter. <laughs> that would be the first time I officially lost at this game. So our Nuggets have decided to build their residential house um, in a very inconvenient area. But they, they seem to actually be doing it now, so that's good. And also, welcome to the stream. Um, so... You can go ahead and queue up a nugget as well. Uh, I, I don't know how long it's going to take um, for your nugget to be born because they just have started working on the residential and it's been about uh, 15 minutes um, for them to build this um, and they're not even building it yet. So, who knows? Um, they're going off for another drink now. Um, <laughs> sadly, all of their, their only water source is the lake right now. Um, as the well still needs to be finished. Um, so, yeah. Lots of progress has been made. Trying to help them out where I can. A little difficult. When your nuggets don't even believe in you yet. I just saw a stone that's just levitating. Still don't believe in me. But they're finally building it. Alright. Finally. We have a residential house. All right, book of love, here we go. There we go, now they actually believe in us. Just took them to fall in love, apparently. Well, at least they built it before winter. I guess that's the most important thing. Yes, we have a very, very large lake right now. Um, so it should be able to supply a lot of water for a long time. Um, so. Which is fantastic. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and build this eatery. Um, 
gonna be right right behind the fishing pier for right now not that close to this area but it should be fine Alright, so we now have some new nuggets, which is great. Two brand new nuggets. Alright, so finally the well is completed. Um, next we have to complete the archive. I'm going to help him out a little bit with that one, too. There we go. So now they just have to build it. Looks like they're working on the water pumps as well. Hopefully they actually finish the archives so we can actually save the game. But we'll see. Alright, so the archive's finished. Alright. So, we're gonna call this, uh, stream. But also, let's just assign a nugget. We'll just assign Elu for right now. Set it for 15 minutes. Always set it to 15 minutes. <laughs> In case the game crashes. Alright, so already we can upgrade the well. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea considering we have a lot of resources actually, surprisingly. I guess it's all from the residential house. Um, but we also have two new nuggets now too, and the water pit isn't going to be sufficient for all of them. Um, and also pretty soon we'll have even more nuggets.
All right, so we've got a water pump up and running. So that is great. Um, we'll actually have a little bit of water now. Um, we have to also get a reservoir too. Um, maybe a couple of reservoirs. Um, let's see, here, where would be a good place right now for these? I want them to be able to come up quick. So I guess let's put two right here. Yeah, just two. As soon as we're able to, we'll also mate Adahi and Elu again, just to get more nuggets, because we need them. It's a little unfortunate that we had to use more creator points in the beginning to help with, uh, you know, getting rid of trees for this residential. We already have a lot of research done. That's not really that helpful if we can't build it all. All right, so they're working a little bit on the eatery. Um, I wonder if they'll finish the water pumps though, still first before the eatery. I guess we'll have to find out. Alright, so luckily they are actually mating again for us, so we don't really have to assist them this time, which is nice. Alright, so we have an additional nugget. Um, it's still expanding a little slow. Alright, so let's go ahead and mate them again. 
because we need more nuggets. How is this water water pit doing? Meh. Surprisingly, it has enough water to supply everybody for right now. So welcome to the stream. Um, if you guys are interested, you guys can do the Twitch integration. Um, so I believe it's just hashtag create nugget um, in the chat. And then uh, you can just uh, have your own nugget. I also do have all of the, the Twitch integrations, uh, ooh, commands. Well, they actually just got posted again in chat. Um, but they're, they're also all in the, uh, you know, the description, I guess, below the stream. Dang, they did not give us enough creator points to do this mission. Come on. We just need one more. Please. Nice. Whoa. So you guys can go ahead and vote as well right now. Um, this vote will uh, basically uh, spawn something. So you guys can either help me out with the food. Hashtag food. Or hashtag CP. Um, which will be giving creator points. Or you can do hashtag spin which will spawn a tornado. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys gave creator points right now or food, either one works. But um, yeah. You can also do hashtag commands and you'll get all of the commands um, in the chat. Alright, looks like we won't have a vote. Dang, you guys didn't want to participate? You guys all abstained? Alright, I see how it is. Just need one more tree, and then we will need one more stone. Hopefully, we can get enough creator points in time. I don't know if we will, though. But maybe. There's a chance. So, how is everything else doing? Fishing pier is actually almost constructed, so that's good. Get us some more food on the table. Um, also, I think we just skipped winter. Did we skip winter? Um, I didn't even realize that was a thing that could happen. Alright, this is, might be a little close. Hmm. You guys really should have voted for creator points. Yeah. I don't think we're going to succeed on this one. Dang. 
That's too bad. Well, all right, let's get out of here to working at the fishing pier. All right, finally, we have enough creator points for this one rock. So, there we go. Now we'll just have to wait for somebody to construct it. Oh, nice. They created our temple for us. Um, so, as you can see, things are a little slow for us right now. Um, probably due to our happiness level. Which actually should go up pretty soon. Because I think eateries, right? Eateries increase that. I'm not gonna employ anybody here at the temple yet. Um, I also don't even know if it does anything to employ workers at the temple. Maybe it does allow you to passively generate faster, but it just doesn't seem worth it for us right now. All right, I'm gonna build a warehouse right next to the eatery. Um, I usually like to do it there. So. I want to research hunting first. Um, just so that way uh, we can have something to defend us with. In case anybody wants to start researching that, that'll be right there. They're upgrading the well, so that's nice. As our population expands, um, we're going to need more water. Oh good, I'm glad that your internet issues is sorted out now. Um, so yeah, you can uh, go ahead and queue up a nugget as well, um, and uh, it'll it'll spawn in as soon as a, a new nugget gets created, and then you'll passively be generating uh, action points. So that way you guys don't have to donate or anything like that. Oh crap. Are we going to get... Nice! Let's hope... Uh, I'm going to have to use creator points to... Uh, uh, on this though, sadly. Um, before <laughs> we can create another nugget. We don't want this residential house going down. Oh, 
Looks like Melbrick, you're gonna be born pretty soon. Come on. All right, Malbrick, you got the pizza icon. There's your little nugget. So now you're gonna be generating uh, action points passively. Um, right now it is, uh, I have it set for just a, uh, an action point per minute, um, but I also did change all of the commands to kinda better, I think, better suit, uh, better suit the uh, experience for today's stream. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. Alright, we needed to get somebody assigned to the eatery. Heal and nuggets. We can do that. That's not that difficult. Alright, so finally, one of the reservoirs is actually going to be built. Malbrick, I think you grew up. Looks like you did. So now we can put you to work now. All right, let's get some more nuggets created here. I want to make sure that I do use uh, nuggets that already are married for right now. There we go. <laughs> they do grow up so fast. That is true. <laughs> All right, we can start mating another nugget too. So our population is going to finally have a nice boom, I think. Hopefully. That is that is the idea. doing little buddy you seem like you might be stuck sometimes you just gotta throw your nuggets around you know there we go
All right, we are generating a lot of creator points now. So um, let's just, uh, oh, they're already mating. Uh, no, now I'm stuck with him. <laughs> no. Okay, there we go. Ooh. That was a close call. I don't want to pick the wrong nugget here. Which one is it? It's you. There we go. Engineering hunt is uh, getting a getting getting close to being finished. Apparently, love is love is in the air right now. Um, everybody is uh, making some more nugget babies. All right, let's go clothing. Actually, no, not clothing. Art. Agriculture, clothing, yeah. Oh, Malbrick, you're preparing for a date. Look at you go. Oh, wow. We've got... So, now you guys can use uh, one of these hashtags to uh, essentially uh, elect somebody. Um, so, we've got right to arms, food for all, and scientific focus. Yeah, Malbrick, I figured as much. I figured. Malberg, how, how about you being an engineer? What do you think? Oh, two votes, Malberg. Oh, one vote, Elu. Malberg, I don't know, man. Oh, it's a pretty close call now, Malbrick. All right, well, let's just make sure Food for All doesn't win. I think I might have to influence this one. Scientific focus. We need it. It's better this way, but I'm slightly bitter. Ah, uh, yes. Understood, Malbrick. Understood. Malbrick, I, don't, I think your date might have stood you up. I'll be honest. Oh, 
Oh, but it does say... It does... Okay, it does say that you're in love. All right. That's rude, yeah. I agree. All right, so we have to go find the lost nugget. And we're, we're generating a lot of creator points now. Oh, if it makes you feel better, Malbrick, I can't celebrate about it. Where? Where is the lost nugget? Oh, I finally hear the wolves. There he is. No, that's a turtle. All right. One bonus then. Yeah. Something positive out of it. We have a lot of things to make right now. I'm not going to make Town Hall yet. We'll go ahead and make the cemetery, though. Where is going to be a good place for this? I guess this might be the best. Oh, we should also probably get more wells. But actually, this is doing not too bad. You know, it's actually doing pretty well. So maybe it'll be fine. All right, we should probably also get a hospital. So I think in Malbrook right now you can do the steel command. And I think with the steel command you actually generate more action points. I have it set to 15 so that way if you want to you can steal more action points and uh, generate them faster. I don't know how it balances them though because I theoretically made things cost a whole lot less than they previously did. 
I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think it steals for I think it steals for action points, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see here. Nugget steal bonus action points, yeah. Which will grant them bonus action points. So I guess we'll see what happens. Warning incoming wolves. Okay. So that's problematic. Let's get a garrison. Yeah, I think it's interesting too. Um, and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I'm still experimenting with it because this is first time actually streaming with the integrations so this is kind of a this is kind of like a trial run seeing how things work but Malbrook you are doing a great job predicting the weather I just want to tell you that right now are getting researched so fast it's hard to keep up with her right now. All right. So Malbrook, you have been the only one who's actually contributing right now. So uh, I have a feeling that your vote is going to be the one that counts. So choose wisely. I won't judge. I won't judge. Okay, you you want to spawn the UFO? That's not the worst thing. That's not the worst thing. Um, definitely better than. Yes, it did. It did work. Um, definitely better than the spawn tornado. Just go ahead and get the fire ready. Oh wait, I don't have fire. I'm gonna have to use <laughs> electricity then. All right, let's let's see where this UFO is. There it is. I missed. Are you serious? There we go. Stone is boring. Haha. <laughs> Well, you're not wrong, um, and we definitely have plenty of it, but, uh, you know, it would be a little bit more useful than a UFO. Alright, we gotta research some more stuff. Um, let's go watchtowers. And material refinements culture. Whoops. All 
right, so we have a lot of things that are have been finished building. Um, buildings seem to be going up pretty quick. We probably think about getting a town hall pretty soon. So I don't think your steel was successful. I think there's a chance of it being unsuccessful. Also, whatever happened to those wolves? I don't remember those coming in. Probably because they didn't. We're gonna need some more wells, I have a feeling. Well, you can right now, actually. It only costs 15. Click the wrong person. There we go. All All right, so you're trying to steal again. All right, I see how it is. Should we build a watchtower right now? I don't think we should. It's gonna bring happiness down. Do better this time. Well, yeah, I, I hope you do. I hope you're successful this time, Malbrick. Stealing resources from your own civilization. It might also not, it, it, it might just not be worth it. It might not be worth it at all to try to steal. I don't know. I don't know what the chances are. Alright, so we have one sad unmarried nugget right now, which is a little unfortunate. Alright, so I'm going to get the town hall prepared to get built.
Malbrick, I don't think your steal was successful. I don't think it was successful. It might just be better to start saving. I wonder if, uh, if I can just change this right now. Do we want it to be that fast? Maybe I'll just double the speed. We'll see if that actually changes anything. I don't know if it will. Just because the stream's already started? But maybe. Uh, people are drinking from the water. That's annoying. Luckily we have uh, enough medicine. Um, we also have quite a few wells prepared. Um, well, that are getting built. Or are, are already built. Not sure. Oh yeah, you haven't seen the uh, integration yet? Um, have you? Uh, do you watch a lot of streams, Melbrick? Or do you just... Uh, Watch most of my videos. This is one, this is like one thing that I've wanted to do, but it's like, it's hard to just start streaming without an audience already, if that makes sense. Um, especially the universe sim, because it's not like, uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of people just search the universe sim on Twitch um, a lot of the time. So, having an audience already on YouTube and trying to shift them to Twitch, I think is a little bit easier. At least that's that's my thinking process. All right, so the town hall's up. Um, let's go ahead and just have anybody really be governor. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I think water is fine. I think that person who needed to drink from the lake was kind of a fluke and uh, it didn't really need to happen. Oh, okay, so are people are other people not using the twitch integration as much Because that I don't really know um, because I don't really watch twitch that often um, And if I do it's usually like a like a League of Legends game or something like that um, But that's interesting Albrecht, you have three kids now. Congratulations. All right, I think it's time for us to get a farm. And you know, this is a pretty good area because it's all grassland, so. In fact, I think everything around this area is grassland. So it works out pretty well for us. All right, we need our civilization to go faster though. Population needs to boom.
The other thing with the Twitch integration is that you can also help speed up the research. So I think it's hashtag invent. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yup. Yeah, I know that definitely a like a couple of a couple of people, uh, a couple of big streamers have streamed this game before. I know that, um, but I also uh, I I just haven't seen that many people use Twitch integration. All right, so disaster firestorm, nice, lovely. I love to see it. Um, that's probably not going to, uh, I mean, it'll probably be fine, right? I think so. All right. So it actually did update the two action points per minute. So you are going to be generating a lot more, uh, now, which is good. So that way you can do a little bit more, uh, a little bit faster. Oh. That's right, this is what replaced the uh, sandstorm. And it is a little loud. Yikes. So does it actually light anything on fire? Or does it just damage? Whoa, oh, yep, it does light things on fire. This is pretty cool, but also at the same time, uh, kind of bad considering we don't have any fire stations yet. No! Put that one out. It looks awesome, but a bit of a pain. Yeah, it is a little bit of a pain, you're right. And on my end, it is extremely loud. But it is finally wearing off, I think. So, that's good. I don't think we had any casualties either. Alright, so we do have stone refineries and wood refineries. Um, I guess we can build one of each. But I think that's all I'm willing to build right now. I don't know, where's going to be a good spot for this? Maybe over here? Sure. Alright, let's also make sure that everything is still covered by the engineering huts. Uh, doesn't look like it, so... Let's build an engineering hut, I guess, out this way. And... Out this way. There we go. Alright, I think I'm going to be right back. I have to go use the restroom.
Alright, I'm back. Did anything bad happen? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Looks like we're fine. Uh, that warehouse is pretty full. But... Refineries are going up, though, so that's good. Um... Yeah, sure, we'll go for food preservation. Um, Woodline reservoirs would be good, and water flow study. How many uh, unemployed? 25? Okay. We do have to be careful with the amount of unemployed we have. Also, another thing I'm noticing is, for some reason, crime has gone up. That's probably due, actually, to the refineries. Well, no. It's due to eateries, garrison, and the town hall. That's something I, I don't understand, is why the town hall increases crime. I think that's a little strange. Put out a house fire. I'm on it. Oh, jeez. Alright, how are we doing? Uh, 13 unemployed. Okay. Uh, we gotta get some more nuggets. Um, we also need to deal with the crime now. Um, let's jolt of joy us. Get us happy again. Takes care of the crime a little bit. Um... Alright, we could go for a defense tower right now, but I think it might be better to go for a park. Um, so I'm going to go ahead for the Cupidon park. Um, nice! Thank you, Melbrick, for inventing that. Sweet. Very cool. What's going on here? I'm on it. Alright. So we gotta go find some new crops. Yeah, I have a feeling that that can really make it so that you go through the game really fast. Especially if you have a lot of people participating. Alright, so we have Bountiful Boston now. Also, let's actually look at our crops now. Devil's Lettuce provides a lot of herbs. Um, for right now, we'll just have Manbro Fruit growing. Manbro, Devil's Lettuce, Manbro, Deadly Sea. Okay. All right, Malbrick, what do you want? Why is there so much man bro fruit? Food, nice! Thank you for that. I was afraid you were gonna do something hurtful. I'm glad you and I, we have the uh, the same goal here. You know, making a successful civilization.
All right. Um, so this warehouse is in a little bit of bad shape. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Um, I have the same problem, especially when it comes to like the research branches, like for instance, wind energy, kinetic energy or combustion energy. You know, I always just think about climate change. So wind energy is always what I go with. Um, but you know, kinetic energy is theoretically green, but it causes problems with your nuggets. And same with science of peace and science of order. I'd much rather have peace than order, because prisons are usually pretty bad. Um, or same with industrial boom and also ecologism. Like solar panels, so much better than nuclear power. Although nuclear power is still pretty good, um, but um, it's very efficient, that's for sure. But. It can still cause problems with safety. Alright, we really need to start mating more nuggets, so I'm gonna get on top of that. This is like the dating rock. Everybody over here wants to find a date. But the problem is, I can't really click on them to know for sure. Ooh, contraception ban. Contraception ban. <laughs> yeah, I guess that does help. Our accelerated studies is really close. I don't like that. I don't like how close that is. I don't know why it's so close. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Alright. It does look like it's going to be contraception ban. It's getting... Malbrick, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that, you know... You're not getting voted for, but... It's just accelerated studies is not... As helpful. Yeah, even you. You don't even want to vote for yourself. Alright, so are we having a problem with water? We might be. Shock twist. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta get some more water. Alright, that should be enough, hopefully. Ah, uh, we need a Jolt of Joy again. There we go. Can't abstain this time around, yeah.
How many unmarried do we have? Five. That's not too bad, actually. Now it's three. Okay. I don't see any of the other nuggets, though. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's one. See, it's so strange, like, the difference between streaming and also just recording a video. Because with recording a video, you know, I can theoretically... We'll go ahead and celebrate about that. But with recording a video, I usually edit stuff out, you know, like me mating a whole load of nuggets. But it's not really an option here, you know? So, it's just a different, it's a different experience all around. We still have two unmarried, but they're not showing up. How am I finding it so far? Like the experience of streaming or, uh, I'm guessing you're talking about. Uh, so, the experience streaming, uh, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, it's a, definitely a very different experience than recording. Because we're, we're actually able to have conversation, you know? And I actually really like that. Um, I think it's cool that I can directly engage with you. Um, and I'm wondering if this is going to destroy uh, how I record videos. Because I'll be like, ah, oh, I don't have anybody to talk to right now. No, I don't think that'll actually be a problem. But, um, it is... It is pretty interesting, um, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, it's just more, it's different. It's very different. I don't know, it feels like you should be able to compare the differences, but it's like almost uncomparable because it's just different. I don't know. Yeah. The other thing is, is like, with uh, streaming... You know, you have to theoretically be live to actually, like, I guess you don't have to because people can watch your previous live streams, but, um, like, I don't know, with recording, it's just, like, your video is always there, so people can always go and watch it, and, um, you know, me personally, it's hard for me to sit and watch a stream that's already been broadcast. Um, it's very different if it's live, in my opinion. Um, but if a stream's already been broadcast and you're watching it, it just, I don't, I feel like I lose, uh, retention pretty quickly, um, for that type of stuff. But if I'm watching a stream that's live currently, um, then yeah, I'll usually watch a lot of it. I just realized we, we have a problem with water, so I'm going to make a lot of more water pumps
Yeah, I think I agree with that. I think it's very different styles, too. Um, I think that when you're binging a playlist, you know, on YouTube, um, it is very easy to stop whenever you want. Um, you know, it's super easy to stop um, and come back to. And then, but whereas if you watch a previous broadcast of a stream, it's kind of challenging um, to, you know, want to get back into it because it's uh you know it's you might have forgotten what happened um you're not really watching the start of a new episode you're watching uh the continuation of a previous thing so i think that they're you know i think that they're just very different All right, what do we have to create that we haven't created yet? Anything? Doesn't look like it. So. We're having a problem though still with water, which is not great. Maybe we should make some more wells. Let's see here. Oh, nice. You filled a water well. Thank you for that. I wonder if I can find the well that you filled. Well, it's not that one. Might have been that one. So thank you for that. to jolt to joy again have we also okay we do actually have the park right now um we gotta increase our happiness somehow so what is gonna be the best way of doing that ah oh, that's okay reservoirs are doing pretty well I guess we can make another Cupid on Park right now. Um, it kind of, I don't know, it feels like it's not a good sign to be making so many of these early on. But I know that we'll have, you know, crime and happiness kind of more sorted out as we need more things. Let's continue mating. And actually, now that I think about it, with this, Nugget Commands, hmm, okay. Huh. That's interesting. 
Oh, we also need to open these. So something rocks in, around inside and an earthy scent reaches your nuggets. A few gears can be heard turning with intent. I don't know what that one means. Um, fumes, gears. All right, we'll open this one first. So it's, okay. So what, stone and wood? That's interesting. Ah, why is it going away so fast? That's annoying. All right, let's open this one too. Box opened. 30 oil. Oh, it repaired our building, so that must be what the gears do. Good to know. Uh-oh. Crap. Good old love of the universe, Sim. One of the crazy problems with recording and streaming this game. And actually probably just playing it in general. All right, hopefully, yeah, okay. We did actually just recently save, so that's good. Sorry, Melbrick. I think you might have to recreate your nugget, though. They had a good run. Yeah. But maybe, actually, maybe you're... <laughs> True. Uh, maybe your nugget actually will still be there. Because theoretically the nuggets are saved information. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Alright, I do have to enable the Twitch integration again. Alright, so connected. Oh yeah, Melbrick, you're still here. You're still here, Melbrick. All is good. I wonder, actually, can you die from old age? I mean, you're getting pretty old. So... As long as you be don't become an infected zone, when you die, you'll be happy. Okay. Well, that's good to know. 
But I don't know. I, I don't know if the Twitch integrated nuggets can die. You know? I'm not sure. I think that's something that would be kind of cool with the Twitch integration was if, uh, like, actions that your kids do also granted you action points. That would be kind of interesting. So that way you can just, like, mass produce kids that, <laughs> that grant you more action points. So then you can have more kids. Have a mini army, yikes! Yeah, and then when you do our, <laughs> when you do the explode command, all of them just explode. Yikes! That would be terrifying. Okay. I think I am going to go for pulley system, even though it's hidden behind a ministry. Do you have to explode your own buildings or exiles? That's a great question. I don't know. Um, I think, like, I don't think you can control, like, I, yeah, there's definitely no way to ex control what you explode. Um, I think it's just wherever your nugget is, um, it just combusts. And so whatever building it's near, uh, it just blows that building up. The thing is, though, is that as a viewer, it's probably hard for you guys to judge where and when to explode it because... There's still a latency between me playing and you watching. So I guess theoretically, if uh, your nugget for some reason was going over to an exile's village and you do the explode, um, then I guess, you know, you'd theoretically explode the exiles that way. But there's really no way to control it yourself. I think we might need some more stone refineries. And uh, so I'm going to build one more of each. So one stone refinery and... One wood refinery.
All right, we've got a lot more nuggets to mate now, so let's go ahead and do that. Get them all over here. Finding a love in the park. Oh, Malbrick, you found, uh, you found someone uh, new to, uh, you know, make more kids with. <laughs> Malbrick, I don't think you're going to ever die. Yeah, there's, woo. Unless you're about to just drop dead right now. But I don't think so. I think you're just going to live forever. How old is your oh all right that never mind <laughs> we won't bring that up Yes, the immortal weather nugget. Indeed. You will forever tell the weather. Hopefully you're a good one. Alright, so uh, creator points are spawn meteors or give stone. Alright, you guys have the option. You, you guys have the choice. So... Try to try to be nice. Please. Oh, we have one unmarried nugget now. The sad lone nugget. Alright, nice. More creator points. That's pretty useful. Especially considering, for some reason, people are not happy. Alright, we gotta change that. Let's go ahead and make some more eateries. Um, food. You know, we're getting plenty of food, but not cooking it fast enough. So... Come on. I saw green. There we go. Thanks for the donation. Crime and happiness is so awkward early in the game. It is very true. Um, oh. Maverick, you can die. But you, uh... You lived a long life. Um, where are you? I don't know if I'll be able to find you. I'm sorry, Maverick. going for body let's uh let's see here I think he's coming for you I think is that Malbrick I can't tell if that's you or not I guess we'll find out. P 
pizza wasn't unstoppable. I guess not. I guess not. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, is he just gonna, oh, they didn't even bury you, <laughs> oh, oh, that's, I mean, I guess, oh wait, maybe now he's going for you, maybe, I really honestly don't know, I couldn't tell if that was you or not, maybe now he'll bury you, if that is you, or maybe he just did burn you. Disgraceful. <laughs> Let's see here. Is this you? Nope. I think he burned you. Unless he's going... He's going out for another body? Really? Oh, okay. No, he's doing nothing. So, yeah. He did just incinerate you. Don't worry. You're like six kids. We'll get your ashes. Crime is pretty high again. Alright, so I think it's probably time then to get some defense towers. I mean, you can make another one. That's up to you. Another Malbrick. I mean, so far, right now, you're the only one who has actually contributed. So, uh, go right ahead. Man, so many people unmarried around these rocks. I'm telling you, nuggets just go to rocks if they want to get married. I don't see a nugget to mate this one. Even though we have 16 unmarried. That's okay, I guess. Alright, pulley system. Alright, we should probably go for recreation now. Oh, you actually get your own, you get your action points back. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. 
Morning wolves. Our population's actually doing really well, though. See, I'm out for a, now you have a crown. Wait, where even were those wolves? Oh, I guess there was one right here. I didn't even notice, I'll be honest. As I should, yeah. Okay, Malbrick. That is too funny. Malbrick, you're an adult now. You could go ahead and create family. You could actually probably spam it. Um, I don't, let me see here. How much... Uh, create family. Create families. Only 10, 10 action points. So, uh, you could do that six times. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you're, you'll want to you want to make sure it's a little slow, so that way you know you make a baby, then you create another one, and so forth. You can really help the uh, population skyrocket right now. All right, vaccination, scientific focus, right to arms. Uh, nuggets are voting. Will you guys vote too? a pretty close race i mean honestly all of these could would be fine but i wonder Yeah, I know. I don't know why. It's kind of funny. Oh, whoa. I didn't mean for that. I know. I don't know why you're always right to arms. Alright, scientific focus. Yeah, I can agree with that. One day, someday, Malbrick, I bet you you will be somebody who will be more useful. Someday. Hopefully. I'm not saying that you're not useful right now, but later on you'll be even more useful. Hey, you just gave birth to Katie. Nice. See, you're being useful now. You are contributing to our population. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was afraid once this eatery was gonna go up. Crime was gonna be an issue. Yeah, it's also just like, I don't think it's that useful. Like, the chances of wild animals attacking are pretty low, and, uh, already, so it's kind of useless, in my opinion. But, so buildings, a lot of buildings need repair, repairing, so I'm going to look again at this, see kind of what's going on with this. Alright, so there's a lot more buildings outside of the engineering radius, so... We'll need a couple more of these. If I can build it anywhere. There we go. How do we only have 45 votes right now? Did it like pause? Did it pause as soon as you voted? That's what it seems like. Malbrick! You got elected <laughs> somehow. So I guess we'll celebrate about that. Congratulations. You are truly king now and my goodness are the fireworks super loud in this game yeah even though you didn't vote for yourself it is incredible I wonder how we're doing on wells. That. I mean, it seems like we must be doing pretty well. Eh, we could be doing better with these. I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple around the area. And our residential buildings are just expanding really fast outward. It's taking over a lot of land that I want uh, that I want uh, farms to be. Now I think about it as well, it would actually be like like high IQ play to invent when uh, I'm doing like a ministry because when a ministry is researching because those ones take the longest all right we should probably make a well out here too. People are kind of like going far, going out far here. Where is that UFO? Is 
Is that a little hint hint? Maybe slightly. Maybe. Interesting. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't want the tree. It'd be kind of cool if you were able to repair things as well with the Twitch integration. Or even, like, select what job you wanted, you know? That'd be pretty cool. We're going to need another cemetery. I think I heard Rick and Morty. Sometimes hard to spot them, though. Actually, I don't think we... Yeah, it's hard to say. Maybe we don't go another cemetery right now. Yeah, it would be handy to fix things. My graphics card is burning up right now. It's not even using that much right now either. Broken heart. Now, I mean, this is so bad. They made this so bad now. The broken heart one because you only receive one believer for <sighs> vengeance i don't like it it should grant you a park it should grant you a park maybe it will be worth it then but as it stands it's not terrible payoff yeah it really is it really really is Nice. Thank you for that. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, I'm pretty sure bunkers are pretty useless still, right? I think. You had so many points, yeah. They're starting to build up a little bit faster now with me speeding it up, so. We actually might want to get some more hospitals, maybe? Yeah, more hospitals would be good. How many sick and injured? We have two. So yeah, I'll get one more hospital.
get a hospital right out here. We have a lot of bricks and planks right now, which actually doesn't normally happen for me, so... What do you mean, uh, what's con condensed? Sorry, I just spoke a lot. Oh, yeah, you're right. Most, yeah. That, uh, when that happens, it kind of annoys me. Um, but yeah, it is pretty contained right now. Um, the most, like, spillage, spillage, I guess you could say, for the resident, uh, residents uh, is over this way. But that's not even that bad. It's not like they have to walk across a whole mountain for it. I see what you're saying now. Alright, well, shockingly, crime and happiness is doing pretty well. We also have recreation now, so uh, if we ever need to just increase our happiness, we can do so pretty quickly. Food, wood, and UFO. Hmm. Honestly, either one, like, I guess UFO would be annoying just because I don't have money creative points right now, but uh, wood and food, you know, either one would be fine. Warehouses are completely full, though. Oh, that's... Another thing that I'm wondering, Melbrick, is how, how is the quality for you? Because I know that I did have to change... I did have to downscale it to 720p, which is annoying, but other than that, how is the quality of the stream? Food. Nice.
How much food did we get for that? Why does this still not show food? I don't understand. Like, one of the most important things, and it doesn't show it. Yeah, I guess we'll go antiseptics first in that little branch. Yeah, you can tell it's reduced. Yeah. See, hopefully, you know, things, I'm really hoping that things will change pretty soon, um, because I might be getting a, uh, new computer for, uh, my upcoming birthday, so, um, for that, hopefully things will increase, um, in, uh, you know, quality with both streaming and also the YouTube videos. Because I know that people have commented uh, about me increasing my bitrate on my recordings. And I would love to be able to do that. But uh, my machine cannot handle it. Um, currently, uh, in fact, my graphics card uh, fan is just totally like stopped. So I only have one fan that's working on my graphics card. So it makes it so my graphics card gets incredibly hot. Um, so I have this external fan that is just blowing into my case without the side panel on. So that way it attempts to do its best at cooling my GPU. Uh, so definitely not the best circumstances for my computer, but that's, that's where I am right now. All right, so we can finally make some schools. So I think we'll just make some schools out here. Not really think too much about the placement of them. Because uh, I don't think it really matters that much. Except for just taking up other areas. Do we already have bloody diarrhea fruit actually? We do not. Um. Alright, we might be able to find another area for it. <laughs> I guess that is one benefit. Yeah, my computer's been going on for six years now, so... At the time, I, uh, when I built it, it was pretty good. Um, definitely did what I needed it to do. Um, but nowadays, I'm both asking a lot more from it, and um, I also am really interested in some new games that are coming out. And I want to be able to play them as much as I possibly can. So... Uh, and also even uh, record them and stream them and such, so. So, yeah. Alright, so we got some new nuggets. And this must be glass. I'm guessing. Yeah, it was glass. Nice. Ooh, and trade. Bricks for food. Let's change this. And we will take all of your bricks. 24. 
and give you however much wood you want. 100. Beautiful. Every single time the game pauses just a little bit, man, I always get freaked out. But it's usually just saving. But I always assume it's just crashing. Always assume. Wow, we've got so many nuggets to mate. Man. There's so many nuggets in there, like... And we're out of creator points. Lovely. Uh, okay. Infected zone. That's not good. Jeez, I'm on the other side of the freaking map. What are you doing all the way over here? Probably going to go get herbs, I'm guessing. We should actually probably uh, make another farm just for herbs. Just chuck him in there. So food, food is going down right now, which could be bad. Um, but it's also winter, so I guess it also makes sense. Um, so yeah, Devil's Lotus is actually better than Deadly Seed. Um, I am going to wait, though, for Botany before we do build another farm. Actually, we should actually probably upgrade... Uh, engineers before anything else after botany and stuff all right so warehouses are getting upgraded which is great because we were running out of space um and as we all know if uh you know refineries don't have space to up uh to build things and send them out to they will just stop That is usually the last thing you want.
All right, so the warehouses are getting upgraded, which is great. We will be able to store a lot more stuff now and produce more now. Man, you guys have to waste a whole plot of land for just one house? Such a waste. What games am I looking forward to then? Um, so one game... Uh, so the biggest game is Cyberpunk 2077. Um, I know it's not an indie game, but I've always loved CD Projekt Red. Um, I think they're one of the definitely better um, development studios um, for AAA titles. Um, you know, that's one thing that I'm really kind of... I, I try to be as development friendly as possible when playing games. Um, so for instance, uh, I've totally cut EA out of my life because they've just done such bad things with development and also, uh, you know, their games are just kind of the same stereotypical formula, um, which is really boring. And that's one reason why I like indie games so much. Um, but yeah, so I try to support indie games as much as I can. Um, I think like 75% of my library in Steam is all indie games. Maybe even more so, actually. Um, but, um, yeah, so, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, because that's really the only AAA title. Um, there's also another, uh, indie game that's coming out this month, actually, called Carry On. Um, which I don't remember who's developing, developing it but it looks pretty sick um it's a reverse horror game which is kind of uh kind of an interest of mine because i used to play dead by daylight a lot um and yeah um i also am looking i mean uh, death stranding just got released on computer um and you know that's definitely an interest as well because i really like uh uh, the person who developed that too, um, and he always comes up with some crazy ideas. Um, but I also know that I can't, and this is kind of why I'm <laughs> waiting, uh, especially on Death Stranding right now, is because I know that on my current computer I could not run it the way I want it to. Um, but yeah. There's also another fun game that I've been playing a lot of that's called see here it's called hard space shipbreaker and that's another game that i actually really wanted to record um every single attempt though i tried to record the quality was crap like terrible so i had to basically scrap every single recording that i ever tried to do for that video for those videos um and that was mainly just because my computer could not handle uh recording and processing what it was doing at the same time. Uh, it runs perfectly fine when I'm not recording, but, um, so yeah. Let's see here, what other titles? Um, I think it's Elite Dangerous Odyssey, which is coming out in 2021. Um, I think it's the summer of 2021, so it's still a while out, definitely, but um, that's another game that I'm excited for. Um, I was a big Elite Dangerous fan, for a while um i played it pretty much daily um for a long long time um but that's obviously changed um i've been thinking about getting back into it but i also uh spend a lot of time either recording or uh hanging out with family and friends so I essentially record like all of my videos for a week uh, in two days, sometimes three, depending on the week. Um, so because of that, uh, it can, it makes it so that those those two days are pretty busy, trying to record seven seven videos in two days. 
Especially sometimes <laughs> when I'm really, really, uh, really lazy. Uh, you love Death Stranding. It's intense. That's a shame about your recording, so do you have anywhere set up for donations? I do not. Uh, currently, I... <sighs> Dude, I... I feel weird asking for donations. Um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, right now, I don't think that I'm at a point where I can feasibly be like, you should give me money. Um, because I don't think that my qual my content is good enough for that. I also have never believed that people should give money like that. That that I that kind of came out wrong, but um, uh, you know I just don't think that I deserve it. I guess yet. Um, maybe when I get bigger, and you know we have more subscribers and we have more people watching, you know all of that. Maybe then I'll change my mind. But at the same time. I don't want to, I don't want to take money from you guys. So, um, because I have gotten us uh, requests on uh, giving people my Steam information, or just my like you know Steam name, just so that way they can gift uh, games to me. And I'm like, I, that's not needed. You know, you don't need to do that. <laughs> um, but I do appreciate it. Um, I always appreciate all of your guys' support. Because I do at one point want, I think it would be really cool, you know, to make this a living. But at the same time, I, I want to make a living without having to rely on people donating. So currently I do not have a place for donations. That was my very uh, extended version of my reasoning for that. The Nuggets voting is kind of all over the place. They never seem to actually like be on, be on board with uh, one candidate. Malbrook, do you play Death Stranding on PS4? Like when it came out? on PS4. Nice. And so you recommend it? That's what it seems like. Oh no! What are you guys doing? Why are you guys building all the way over here? It's happening! It's happening again! No! Stop! Alright, we're gonna get need to get an engineering hut over there. Unless this one reaches. Where is it? I don't even see where the engineering huts are. There's one. Yeah, there's definitely no way. Yeah, honestly, very anti-social nuggets. But you know, that's fine. 
uh, so yeah, um, I definitely think that it is a slower game too. Um, just from what people have told me uh, about it. Um, but I also know that I am a big fan of slow games. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, uh, growth and journey. Yeah, those are th those are things that interest me as well. Um, all right, scientific focus. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I think that would probably be a good game for me. Um, you know, it's kind of like. I don't know, um, obviously my YouTube channel is very dependent, like, not dependent, but very focused on the universe sim, which is great, and also, uh, a little unfortunate, um, because that's not really how I intended my, uh, channel to end up, um, and it's definitely going to go through, you know, more variations, um, but I really intended my channel to be more of a, a channel where I was just kind of playing games that I enjoyed that were not very, uh, well known. So I actually started, I started off a long, long time ago with, uh, with a game called Rad. And that, um, was, I thought was a really fun game. Um, maybe didn't work so well for YouTube because it's a roguelite um, And sometimes it's not that interesting to watch somebody run through something and you know kind of repeat the same process over and over again each video um, Which is understandable um, but I all I essentially started my channel to try to do like uh, To do as much diversity of games as possible um, and I think I'm still doing that to an extent, you know, because we do have five, four, four different games being played on the channel right now. Um, but I want to diversify even more. Um, but it's really difficult. Um, and I was talking to one of my friends about this the other day, actually. Um, and I was kind of explaining that, like, it's hard as a small YouTuber to you know, diversify into games that nobody knows about. Um, especially, like, with indie games, because indie games, you know, they don't have the marketing that AAA titles do. They don't have a lot of that type of stuff that bigger games do. And so some people might not even know that a certain game exists, so they won't look it up on YouTube. And that uh, kind of hurts... You know, that hurts people who are trying to show these games. Um, and that's kind of happened with the universe sim. Because, uh, you know, uh, the universe sim is uh, an indie game. Pro pro most probably more well known than uh, other indie games because of uh, the way that they're doing it and how big Creativo has gotten but um yeah I don't know I, I don't really know where this rant is going I kind of lost my <laughs> lost my train of thought but uh it's just difficult I guess for me to play um different indie get titles because it's hard for you guys as, as well um to know what you guys like um, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling now. Nice, more creator points. Thank you for that. Yeah, how is our creator points so low? I'm just noticing that now. Oh, I should also start paying attention. Um, not generating enough water. This is a huge ocean. That is massive. Dead nuggets. Okay, I'm on it. Where is this dead nugget? Oh, there's two dead nuggets over here. We're going to need another cemetery.
All right, so let's go ahead and build this cemetery right in the middle of this desert. And we're probably going to need another one too. Yeah, I'm gonna get another one over here too. This, uh, this covers so much ground, but. We've got a lot of upgrades now. We should also get a well for over here too. There we go. But yeah, so kind of what I was saying though is, is like, my channel, I never intended it for it to be more focused. Um, it's hard because it's, I think it's easier to diversify when channels are more well established. I'm more of a viewer that wants to play on channels that are local. Yeah, well, thank you for that, Malbrick. Um, and yeah, I 100% agree. Um, it is very difficult for a small channel to diversify than a bigger channel and that leads me to like you know want like it's so weird because like i i don't want a, like the way to have make a diverse channel is to first focus on a game um and you know build up a community who like that game but like at what point do you know when to diversify you really don't you kind of have to like take a risk and try. Oh my, there is a fire. That is problematic. I'm glad we saw that in time. But yeah, so it's kind of like, um, you know, like I've definitely tried to diversify a couple of times pretty recently actually. Um, so I've always been a good fan of horror games uh, and such. So I tried SCP Blackout, um, which I think you, somebody, uh, I think it might have been you commenting on it. Uh, I don't remember exactly uh, currently, but, um, you know, so those are the types of games that I enjoy. And I was hoping that people would like that a lot, but it just didn't work out so well. Um, and, you know, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, you just kind of try to try a game and see how it works and sometimes it's a success and sometimes it's not. And sometimes you get games where it's like good company, where a good company did really well the first episode and then it kind of falls off uh, later on. And maybe that was due to people being like, wait a moment, this guy doesn't know crap about this game. We don't want to watch him. Which is totally reasonable. I I really did not know much about Good Company when I started watching it. Uh, started playing it. and But now, you know, now I know a lot more about it. And understand it. And understand how bad the tutorial is. Holy crap. Um, so, you know. Um, but, yeah, so it's just difficult sometimes for that um, purpose. Alright, so we've got gas, we've got iron mines, so let's go ahead and make, if we can make an iron mine here. Actually, this isn't even the best place, is it? Man, I guess this is the best. So we'll make one there. And I guess we'll start, yeah, we might as well start um, mining gas. Man. Why does it not fit there? Oh, thanks. Thanks for the research. Locust swarm coming in. That's okay. All right, it'll fit here. That, come on, that is close enough.
So we have a locust swarm that's coming in in about 30 seconds. We might also... Yeah, this isn't actually being covered right now. So let's go ahead and build another engineering hut right there. Oh, wow. All right, let's get these. And let's see here. That all looks pretty good. Let's go for glass blowing and pyrology. So yeah, even though like I've been playing this game like almost constantly for the channel, um, I still find enjoyment in it. Um, I'm not trying to say that I don't enjoy this game. I obviously do. I would not. Like, if, if I ever, like, felt like I was getting, like, burnt out of a game, and this kind of happened with Kingdoms and Castles. You know, I was playing a lot of Kingdoms and Castles, and I kind of got burnt out of it, and it almost felt more of a chore than, uh, than kind of wanting to play it for YouTube. So I kind of just, you know, that's one of the reasons why I was kind of looking for a new game to fill its place in. Um, but now that it's been a while, you know, I'm more interested in playing with it, playing it again. And so I started the series back up. Um, and, you know, and I felt also, um, you know, there's a certain extent where I feel like I have a duty almost to provide more episodes of a game. Um, but with Kingdoms and Castles, I felt like I gave enough where I could take a break from it um and so now that it's coming back this week it's uh you know it's better it's a lot better um and i think that i think that you guys can probably tell too when i'm not enjoying a game um i feel like it's hard to hide that in a video um so it's much better and why are our nuggets going all the way across the map for stuff. I don't understand that. Are they going across for herbs or something? They must be. So. That's something that I want them to fix their pathing on. Is like the, the fact that, you know, they will essentially just walk wherever they need to. However far it is. Oh crap. We lost that farm that we were making. Yeah, that would be really nice too. Um, the thing is though is like I've thought about that obviously too. But like this game is kind of like it plays differently than City Skylines. Um, so it's just like, I think it's almost actually better to have it kind of just run automatically and just kind of, kind of deal with, uh, deal with where the residents go. And honestly, it's like not even that bad if, uh, if you do just kind of be like, okay, I'm going to destroy that building now. You know, it's really not like the worst thing. So in that sense, it actually works out. Um, so I don't think it necessarily has to be like City Skylines. Um, could it work though? Yeah, it could definitely work. Um, Alright, we really need another cemetery for this area. Because it is just getting over, overcrowded. Um, and people are dying way too often. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and open this. Nothing bad, good. Oil. Nice. City Skylines is actually another game that I tried on the channel. And, you know, I really thought that it was going to be successful. 
but it wasn't. Doesn't look too bad once it starts upgrading. Yeah, the uh, cemetery, you're right. It's true. But yeah, City Skylines is a game that I have tried on the channel and I thought was going to be really successful, but it kind of wasn't. So I didn't really stick with it. It's also sometimes really strange playing a game that you've played so much alone. So you're not used to like doing commentary with it. And then you kind of just like, you know, you're kind of thrown in this place where you're recording it and it's like you want to you want to fill things with commentary so it's, it's very different um, I wasn't playing universe sim for that long before I started uh, recording it so it didn't really happen that badly with this game just bugs me now visually haha I don't think I'd find your channel but that is surprising it's a fun game Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, it's possible that you hadn't. Um, it was maybe a while back. And there is a couple of games that I want to bring back to the channel that I haven't, I hadn't played in a while um, because of them not doing so well. But, ah, oh, dang. <laughs> Missed that chance. Ah, uh, no. There we go. Okay, right here. Um, but, yeah, there is a couple of games that I want to... Oh, I thought that guy just dropped dead too. Um, whoa, what? He was dead, wasn't he? Did I pick up the wrong person? No, there's no way. But um, there's a couple of games that I want to come, I want to bring back um, to the channel. Um, so City Skylines is one that I want to try again. Um, there's another one that I was thinking about the other day. I don't remember though. I don't remember. But there was another one. Because in theory, City Skylines and the Universe Sim is very much alike. Um, it's very similar uh, in its things um, and what it does. Um, but. Oh! Phoenix Point! I think I wanted to bring back Phoenix Point. That's what it was. Um. But I don't even know how that game would do nowadays. Does action points max out at 100? No, they don't. Good, good. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't remember what the other games were that I was thinking about bringing back. But there was a couple. We really need to... Wait. Oh, okay. I really need to figure something out. Because, uh... Oh, Phoenix Point? Yeah. Um, Phoenix Point was is a lot of fun. Um, it's basically a tactical shooter, so... A lot like XCOM, um, but, hey, SixSec, um, so SixSec, if you are interested, you can go ahead and create a nugget, just do hashtag create nugget in chat, and then you'll go into the queue, um, and then you can wait for your action points to go up, and use them for various things. Um, all of the various actions that you can do is below the channel. 
Um, nice. Perfect. Um, so, yeah. Um, but what was I saying? So, yeah, Phoenix Point um, is a really fun game. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy it because I'm very, like, that's another thing that I enjoy is tactical shooters. Um, like, not even the, the F, you know, not even the per first person shooters. Um, but, uh, you know, it's turn based. Um, it's pretty fun. But, uh, you know. So, oh my, we really sped through the research here. Or I was just busy talking. Um, all right, I want you guys to choose which, uh, which do we go? Wind energy, kinetic energy, or combustion energy? Um, you guys have a couple of minutes to decide. All right, so fire. I'm just gonna place these wherever we can fit them. But yeah, so uh, so you can earn uh, basically the way that you earn perns is uh, based off of time. Um, so right now I have it so that it's set to um, you basically gain two action points per minute. Um, and in fact right through the chat right now uh, it shows you how much uh, things are worth with action points um, and so forth um, so essentially once you get enough action points you can do those things um, you can try to steal um, Malbrick has been has tried that quite a few times but it has not been successful um, but if you want to try you can go ahead and do so um, it's kind of like a risk and reward type thing Dang, happiness is not too good right now. Let's go ahead and make some local business. Gotta go wind, love the turbines. This is true, but I almost go turbines like every single YouTube series. Like every single one that isn't does, didn't have to do with uh, an update to the way you generate uh, energy. Um, I basically always do wind, uh, but I do enjoy the turbines as well. Oh, nice six sec! Your nugget is uh, is now a an adult. Oh, and you've got a ghost. Look at you. Um. And I think it's 10 action points to create a family. So when you get one more action point, you can go ahead and do hashtag create family. Or, yeah, I think it's hashtag create family. Um, gotta go wind, love the turbines, or destroy the planet. I mean, yeah, you're fair. It's true. I mean, you guys, I am held by whatever you guys choose right now. You know, so whatever you guys choose, we're going to go with. <laughs> go combustion and see the gunky water. All right. Okay, we well can go combustion. Six sec, what do you think? And I know that we have another viewer as well, so, uh, you know. So, yeah, six sec, what do you think? Do you think we should... Do you think we should go combustion as well? Oh crap, we're running out of food. We have to solve the food problem.
Anton, welcome to the ch uh, welcome to the stream. You want to see the uh, the research? How's it going, Anton? So yeah, we have wind energy, kinetic energy, and combustion energy. I want wind energy. All right, so we've got to vote for wind, combustion. Seriously, you want the UFO now? So you want to go wind, but you guys all want UFO. All right, that's cool. Thanks. Everybody wants UFO. All right, I guess it's going to be UFO then. But okay, so we've got one vote. We've got one vote wind. We've got one vote combustion. Uh, Anton, what do you want? You're going to be the tiebreaker unless you want kinetic. So wait, is everybody just saying wind energy now? Is that what everybody's saying? Anton, welcome. What a diamond in the rough. So you've got a diamond apparently. Can I destroy the planet? Uh, yeah, that's probably going to be happening. Um, you know, the last season, uh, it was a little unfortunate the way that the last season ended because, you know, in theoretically the amount of time that we had, um, for both seasons. Oh, oh shoot. I really need to focus. I really need to figure out food. Uh, but, um, the last season was a little unfortunate because... We, like, and I'm talking about season four, season four of the beta, um, because, um, we had essentially two seasons in the one, in one update cycle. Um, so that meant that the, the second season essentially would, it is almost guaranteed to, but it's almost guaranteed. All right, I'm just gonna burn this down. Sorry, guys. But uh, it was essentially guaranteed to not be able to be finished in the amount of time that we had. Um, and so because of that, um, I wasn't really able to give the season a good end. Um, and I did have two more episodes recorded for that season. That I still actually have archived. Um, so if for some reason you guys ever wanted to see those, um, I can release them. But they're also like, they're not even like that good. Um, <laughs> like those last two episodes were kind of just me trying to get the population to increase even more so. Uh, and it would not budge. And so it was like those videos were like almost failed. Uh, I don't know. It's like almost a good thing that was never actually saw the light of day. Um, but uh, yeah, so this season I will definitely uh, finish it off with a bang. Um, and we'll get to see some stuff going down. It's true. Um, and you know, I actually do have a ton of backup videos. Um, mainly ones that I recorded uh, a bunch in one session but I essentially uh, you know sc didn't scrap them obviously because I still have them but I just didn't post them because the first episode didn't do too well um, and so yeah
All right, electricity. So we gotta do the inventor's request. All right, I'm on it. Let's just throw down a battery right here. Anton, it's all good, man. You have a good one. Thank you for joining the stream. Um, at this season, can you make a spaceship? Because they added spacesuits. Um, you were actually theoretically always able... Um, I shouldn't say always. But, um, in the past... What was it? Was it season two of the beta? I think it was season two or season three of the beta. We did actually uh, make a spaceship um, because they did uh, include uh, satellites. So you can actually make a satellite, um, but they don't really do anything yet. Um, I don't know if they've added anything extra um, as far as space goes. Um, and also what I've heard is that the spacesuit phenomenon is actually a mistake on the developer's part and they didn't actually mean they didn't actually mean to release that yet um and they accidentally put it in the current build and then they went live with the build and now if they go back i'm guessing it would destroy a lot of people's worlds so i'm thinking that they're just going to stick with it so that is essentially the whole deal with the spacesuits. Um, all right, so we need a final decision. Wind energy, kinetic energy, or combustion energy? What do you guys think? Wind energy, kinetic energy, or combustion? If you guys don't make an agreement, I'm gonna roll a die. And it's even worse, it's going to be a a virtual die, not even a real die, because I don't have my dice on me right now. You're solid on combustion, okay. Alright. So, six sec, what do you think? Since I shot you down earlier! Malbrick, I didn't shoot you down. I was just saying that I go wind energy basically every single playthrough. <laughs> you want the most destructive for the planet. All right, well, that that's going to be combustion then. So I guess we'll go combustion. So you're going to want like science of order then too. You're going to want like an, uh, nuclear power plants. Man. Six sec is all about destroying the planet. All right, we'll go combustion energy. Alright, combustion energy it is. Alright, Tudor Architecture, Curtis, and Blacksmith. Um, also, I actually, I want you guys, I want your opinions on what you guys think the Blacksmith should be. Usually I want to help the planet, but in this season, I want destruction. Alright. Okay, so we got Malbrick, Sixsec, and Anton. So, hey Malbrick, your uh your medical aid this time. Sixsec, your contraception ban, and Anton is food for all. <laughs> Hashtag Sixsec. All right. I mean, I'll agree with you on that one. 
Contraception ban is definitely the best. Um, <laughs> yeah, Malbrick, I'm sorry. At least it's more helpful. At least you were a little bit more helpful. You win this round. Yeah. Alright, let's go logging. Oh, and we, you know, it's so weird because we're like going through the research so fast because you guys are actually able to help. So, like, I totally forgot that we unlocked stone mines. Not that we need more stone, but, you know. Actually, yeah, we don't even need more stone. I'm not even going to make the stone mine yet. We have so much stone. Ah, oh, thank you, Malbrick. I haven't even checked how many fish are in here. 15,000? Alright, that's actually a good amount. Um, I don't, I don't know if this lake can even run out of water. Like, with how big it is. You know, I feel like if you have something this big... It's just not going to run out because it's just going to get filled all the time. On wells... Wait. Why did you drink unpurified water? There was a well with water. That makes no sense. You want 40 AP so badly? What's even for 40 AP? I don't even remember. Oh, invent. Oh, attack nugget. You want to attack the nugget, don't you? You want to attack other nuggets. Ah, <laughs> oh, sick sec. All right. And I know if you say invent, you're lying, sick sec. I know. You just want to cause as much chaos as possible. No, you want to invent? Uh, yes, I do have fire brigades. You swear? Yeah? Do you? Well, just to let you know, we will see what you say in chat. We will see. Alright, contraception ban. We will celebrate about that. Alright, I'm gonna have this one, uh... Grow some devil's lettuce. The celebration is actually my funeral. Oh, did you die? Oh man, <laughs> I didn't even realize you died. I'm sorry. Sorry, Malbrick. Infected zone. I don't know why our nuggets are walking all the way over here. It has to be for herbs. That's the only thing I can think of.
until when will I stream? I'm streaming until 12 tonight. So literally all day. Can I destroy the neighbors? Um, I don't even know exactly where they are even right now. Yeah, I'm not even certain where the exiles are. So I can't right now. No. Also, we are extremely unhappy. Holy crap. Oh, it's because of the exiles. Okay. We'll just try to jolt of joy us. Um, where even are they? Ah, oh, six sec. Okay. I guess you were honest, huh? You were actually honest with uh, not wanting to attack Nuggets. That's nice of you. I figured you just wanted to cause as much destruction as possible. Malbrick, why? You've been s helpful for so long. Why did you all of a sudden have to start a fire? Where even are you? And... Wait, does it just... Does it start a random fire, or does it... It might not work. Whoa. Oh, no, it did work. Come on. <laughs> Malbrick, really? You see what you did? This poor residential house. You lit somebody else's house on fire. Oh, honey, you're an adult now. Nice. You checked if I had a fire brigade, but they don't seem to work very well either. Oh, I see. Yes, we do have a fire brigade. Uh, they actually do work pretty well. Um, you know, houses actually take a lot to destroy, especially from fire. So it actually doesn't cause too many problems. But I appreciate that you actually looked to see if we actually had something to take care of the problem with. Uh, before you created a problem. That's like, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of a good example right now. So where are all these infected zones? Wait, this should be taken care of. 
Why is that not being taken care of? As Dini, welcome. Rihanna hype. What? I don't know exactly what you mean, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know if you can throw a meteorite. Um, I don't think that's a thing. And my goodness, cry. Wait, are we still? Oh yeah, the exiles are still here. Okay. For quite a while. Um, I don't think that you can throw a meteorite. We can look at it really quick, though. Yeah, there's no meteorite. Yeah, you do have to wait for a vote. That is correct. Only a vote can, will allow you to throw a meteorite. So I wonder how our nuggets are doing. Oh, a lot of nuggets are hungry. Okay. We should probably make some more eateries then too. I've been focusing on too much on the chat. Instead of the actual game. You know, luckily though, uh, it'll be pretty easy to build a bridge over here. Ah, oh, see, a six sec. I'm sorry, you just died. What happened? I I hope that you died of old age, not because you were hungry. <laughs> So a lot of nuggets are dying right now. Well, six sec, I guess you should be happy because it looks like a meteorite is coming for us in a couple of minutes. Oh, I haven't even built power. We need power plants. This is something that we need. Oh, 
Oh, we don't even have glass. Or do we? No, we don't. Do we? No. I don't think we do. Nope, we don't have a glass factor. All right, let's get one then. We'll actually get two of these. We'll get two glass factories. Side by side. Uh, we'll see if it does spawn at the exiles, though. We'll hope. I hope so. It would be much better than our own civilization. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and build some more hospitals. Luckily, the exiles have left us alone now. Asdini! Here you are! How you doing? doing pretty well. Delivering some resources. Nice. How are we doing on water right now? Looks like actually water seems to be kind of fine. So that's good. As Dean, you're probably right that they're looking for food. Um, and, you know, uh, yeah, you could probably do that, what, do what you suggested. Um, but the other thing that we can do is we can just uh, make more farms uh, near us. And then they won't have to travel so far for food. Um, another thing that we'll make is more garrisons, too. Um, and these will help out a lot as well. But yes, we do need a lot more food. Um, otherwise, we will be starving pretty soon. Uh-oh. Yep, the game crashed. Great. Gotta love when that happens. You need way more farms? I don't know if, uh, if I have found that to be true either, uh, too, or not. Um, but I know that I do make a lot of farms, but that's just kind of what I do. Yeah, that would be cool, too. Uh, I mean, you guys can theoretically donate food. Oh, nice. Save recently. Um, you guys can definitely donate food uh, on one of the votes. I don't remember which vote it is, but it is one of them. So...
votes just don't seem to be happening very regularly. Yeah, which is weird, because I thought I had them set for 10 minutes. I can look at that, though, when we get into game. Alright. Let's find our civilization. Alright, so you guys are saying that votes are not happening very regularly, which I kind of agree with. Um... What? Smoke plumes are erupting from gas plants. We don't even have gas plants. What? That's weird. Alright. So let's check this really quick. Global settings. Um... Yeah, so I think it's every 10 minutes. It looks like. Public voting. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of extensive. That sounds maybe like a personal problem with how many farms you need. I don't know. I don't think I've had that many farms. Or I've needed that many farms. I could be wrong, though. I know that we are... I mean, what are these guys even getting infected from? Infection zones. That are just super far away. So yeah, people are just going out looking for food and such. But they are failing to understand there is no food out there. Uh oh, and there's a fire now. Alright, so we need... More farms. That is essentially what we're gathering now. Actually, maybe we need more fishing huts. Please, can I go close to the moon? Hold on. Where even is the moon? Oh, there it is. What are we looking for? What are we what are we looking for, Six Sec? You asked me to go to the moon. Alright. So there we go. Now we've got to vote. So death, uh, wood, and creator points. Choose wisely, you guys. Alright, we need to sort out uh, crime as well. Ah. Six sec, thank you. Always. So you see that our population is already suffering, and now you guys, you you want them to suffer even more. That's just ruthless. Well, thank you guys for choosing wood. Um, I 
<laughs> you can't vote twice. <laughs> Thanks for donating wood. Uh... Wait, was our original farm not producing anything? That's not good. So a lot of nuggets are getting infected. If only food was on there. I know. Um, in fact, we could actually go find some wildlife and just, you know, sacrifice them. Or even just, you know, food. But that's devil's lettuce. We don't really need more of that. Manborough fruit would be useful. Oh, thanks. Thank you, six sec, for that. Oh, actually. This is true. We could try to we could try to uh, trade for some food, which actually would be a good suggestion. Is a good suggestion. So thank you for that, Asdini. First things first, we gotta find some exiles. Ah, here's some. Wait, they don't have any food either. Everybody is just starving to death. This is so bad. All right, well, we don't want to trade with these guys. So it's not just us that are suffering. Destroy them. I'm not going to destroy them. Not right now, at least. We got to find some mammoths. Okay, here's another one. All right. How how does nobody have any food? This is a massive problem. All right, so we got we got a mammoth. All right. So let's just kill this mammoth and it will give us some food. There we go. Now we have 31 food. Okay. That's good. We need some more fishing piers. I focus too much on chat and not enough on our civilization. <laughs> I don't even know what happens when you attack. Why are you all the way out here, honey? What are you doing? You're hungry. <laughs> oh no. Crime just dropped. Yep, it did. <laughs> All right. We maybe maybe we can build some more garrisons. To do more hunting. You can't find a victim. Interesting. Oh, really? You have to put a nugget's name after attack nugs?
Huh. Interesting. Uh, you have to put in, uh, so better results that way. Hmm. Alright, well, we have the glass factory finally. So that's nice. Um, but we're at this problem, though, that a lot of things need glass. Like the uh, fishing piers need glass. Um, so they these actually can't really get built yet at all. Which is a little annoying. We should probably build some more eateries. You like to kill other candidates for election. That... Alrighty. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say about that. Okay, are we... Alright, I really need to start. Alright, so some bears. Perfect. We'll kill you. Um, let's see here. There's another one. Uh, yes, I have found those as well. Um, there's actually one on this world as well, somewhere. I remember seeing it. Ooh, a healthy Molina. We actually haven't seen this yet. Maybe it will be better than the, uh, Manborough fruit. Let's hope. No. Actually, it's about the same. Just for the forest, though. So, if we ever do have to build in the forest, that would be a good alternative. We're losing a lot of nuggets right now, though. Um, just because of not enough food. Which is really unfortunate. All right, we're finally making some glass now. Oh no, honey. You've died. Um, are you the one that's infecting people now? Uh, no. take care of that really quick oh this cemetery is completely full so we need a lot more cemeteries man everybody is just dying Whew. bless RNG You guys can create more nuggets though, just with the hashtag create nuggets, so. Also, Anton wasn't even here anymore, so um, I guess that's fair that his nugget has died. Wow, that did not take you very long to get born.
Yeah, I know. Honestly, uh, this is like every single time I play this game. Uh, especially at this point, when things are leveling up and uh, things are upgrading and such. Um, it gets insane. Um, because also now we're, we don't even have enough power. Like, uh, power is going to be running out now. So I'm going to have to shock this. There we go. So this power plant should be finished pretty soon, hopefully. What power did I choose? I chose a uh, power plant. Combustion energy. That was uh that was based off of what you guys suggested. Uh, I don't think you were here quite yet as Dini. Um, but Sixek wants to basically destroy the world. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think um, Malbrick kind of wants to see something different because oftentimes I do play a lot of wind. Kinetic sucks. Yeah, kinetic does suck. Um, I will forever, never actually want to use kinetic. Um, it is so bad. Wind is by far superior because it doesn't require any nuggets for it to work. Oh, Malbrick, you got right to arms again. could try and ruin ruin the planet and then see if you could save it i mean yeah this is true <laughs> malberg i'm sorry man you just really you like your guns what can you what can you say I just want food. People need food on the table. So many people are starving. Actually, a lot less now. But it's still a problem. God. <laughs> <laughs> Malbrick, are you gonna actually get attacked? Let's see here. Oh, yep. Holy crap. You're shooting arrows. Look at <laughs> look at you go! Malbrook, you're trying to heal up, but it's not- Oh, successful. Oof, we just- We just saw crime happen. That was unfortunate. It's also really funny, because you're- You're for safety guidelines. Hehehehe. <laughs> Right to arms is clearly not the way. It is true. This is true. I also just realized we do not have a whole lot. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I also. Just realized as well. We do not have a whole lot of nuggets. Uh, yeah, our. Our civilization is not doing too hot. right now it'd probably be a better idea to uh, like slow down on our research 
So I'm just going to go ahead and research a whole lot of ministries right now. All right. We've got a new neighbor. Where are these guys building? Nice, honey. You're the new leader. All right. So we've got we've got some exiles getting built over here. Thank you for the invention. All right, so food is slightly better, kind of, to an extent. Um, it definitely still needs to get better though. Um, we're not gonna have enough food to last us through the winter. We really need fishing piers. Destroy the exiles. I don't want to destroy them yet. They're going to be useful. <laughs> I mean, we can trade with them whenever we need to. Like, exiles are actually, like, actually have a use now. It's not like they're taking up land. I mean, they are, but it's, they also have a use. You want to destroy the new ones. But they're even more useful, maybe. What if they have food? We need food. The meteor might. It might. This is true. Who knows where the meteor will be. Ah. We do not have enough educated nuggets, apparently. Yeah, we need 36. Please destroy them. We'll see. We'll see about destroying them. Right now, we need to focus on ourselves because we have some drastic problems. Now, water's an issue, too. All right, I think I'm gonna slow the game down just a little bit for right now. Malbrick, I first need to be in love with somebody, I'm sorry. Had to happen. We need more nuggets.
Thanks for filling a reservoir. That helps out a lot. If only you guys could give us food. Whoops. I must have clicked the wrong one. That's okay. Incoming wolves, okay. Uh, speaking of which, um, those aren't built yet, so I guess we can't really do much with those yet. Wrong season. I don't care what season it is. Just grow the manbro fruit whenever you can. How hard can it be? Fertilized farm would be a good one. Uh, yeah. Wait. Pesticides. Yeah, pesticides and fertilizer would be good. You're right. I guess we'll continue on. So what do you guys want? Science of peace or science of order? What do you guys think? So the meteor is coming in one minute. Peace. Malbrick, you're too good. You're too innocent. <laughs> Alright, we've got two science of orders. These guys really want to kill our nuggets. <laughs> Malbrick, I totally understand. One time I did it just for the YouTube series. Just so that people could see it. Alright. We gotta figure out where this is going to be hitting us. And if need be, we might need to protect ourselves. There it is. Uh, it's not really hitting anything. So it should be okay. We'll just probably let it impact then. It might kill a few nuggets that are just running around with their heads cut off like chickens. But basically, what is Science of Order? Uh, Science of Order is prison. So Science of Order is prison. And that just basically means that if they are found guilty of a crime, then they get electrocuted to death. That is prison. Oh, we also finally have the power plant, which is actually going pretty well. Luckily, it just needs gas. Um, and we have quite a bit of that. So we do actually have uh, power generation now. Um, and also the planet condition is doing pretty well still. So. Oh, guys, food! Food! Give us the food! We need food! Please, I beg of you. No, not the UFO. Six sec, you know we need food. I've been talking about it for like 30 minutes. 
Yes. Give us the food. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Hopefully this is actually a good amount of food. Oh, and also the meteors are coming in. The meteors look really strange on mountainsides. Like, look at that. It didn't really load properly. I wonder if you can take, take it. No, not exactly. I saw something good. You saw something good? What do you mean you saw something good? All right, food. Nice, that gave us a lot of food actually. That was like a hundred food. So that's gonna help us out a lot. Also, I just realized we had courier's huts for quite a while and I have not made them for some reason. It's because I've been distracted. You guys are all so distracting. Buildings have no water. Guys, we need water in the reservoirs, quick. Nice, thank you. Thank you for filling the reservoirs. Oh, you don't have enough points? No! All right, six sec. Uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm actually gonna be taking a break uh, in about an hour, uh, 45 minutes more like, uh, for dinner. And then I will be back after that. Um, so around six EST. But yeah, so have a good one. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, Malbrick. Malbrick has enough. Wait, did that not do anything? That didn't do anything, did it? Crap. All right, we gotta fill some reservoirs myself, I guess. No, where even are them? <laughs> where are they? There they are. Oh, fill well. That's a well. Dang it, Melbrick. Ah, well, that's okay. We've got some water now. Probably could have actually just changed the season. But that's okay. All you could do. Yeah, I understand. Wanted to do something. Yeah, well, it was something. I'll give you that. So I guess that means we're going to need some more water pumps. Oh, and more fishing piers are being made, so that's good. Um, let's get some more water pumps, though. better than fire that is true uh it would be uh, a little awful for you to cause a house to go on fire when we have no water <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to start speeding up the game again. Um, I think a lot of our problems have kind of figured themselves out now. Hopefully. Buildings have no water again? That's problematic. Okay. We're getting water now. Good. That's not good that we're only generating 95 extra water, though. Um, with every pump working. So, we're going to need a lot more pumps now. Is this the same water source? No, it's a different one. Okay. We are just surrounded by massive water sources around us, which is pretty nice. Yeah, you're right. Um, I could probably like this residential house. Um, but the thing is that you need to remember is that uh, newly married nuggets will move into those houses. So if you uh, marry a whole ton of nuggets and they don't have a place to go, then they will build a new residential house. Um, so sometimes it's actually best to have some empty houses for those people to move into. It's so hard to see the blue, though, for the males. Um, I wish it was a little bit darker. Or maybe lighter. I don't know. I just wish it was more uh, easier. It, I wish it was easier to see. That's what I'm saying. Alright, well, things seem to be going pretty well, at least uh, as far as happiness and crime goes. Food is still a problem, though. Hopefully food gets situated. But... Um... I don't know if it's that important for them to have their age displayed. Um... Yeah, I don't know if it's that important. 
Um, one thing that I do wish, and, you know, I wish that they changed it, so that way, instead of, you know, you having to click each individual person, you could, like, it's like the, uh, tree ability, you know, it's like forestation, where it's an area, and so, like, you can see this massive area of nuggets, and, um, basically mate every single one that's in that area, or just have it, like, Jolt of Joy, where it causes a mate, uh, them to mate every single nugget, um, that would be nice, too. Welcome back, Sixsec. Um... It is good to have you back. We still have a food problem. But, you know, that happens. And hopefully, when all of these farms are done, it is figured out. But, you know, it's hard. Yeah, because we used to have so many planks and bricks, and now we have none. What did you miss? Um, not too much. Um, yeah, what, what, what even happened? Uh, I think it was basically us struggling, and we continue to struggle. Trade again? Yes, that would be a good idea. Still no food. Nobody has food, you guys. Nobody. Um, let's get some bricks, though, because we need those. Nice. Yeah, I was basically just marrying nuggets as well. That's true. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, that's really kind of it. There was really wasn't that much that happened. Um, some research, you know, that type of stuff. Um, we built, uh, yeah, we built some more water pumps. At least we're in the process of building some more. Um, because we're not really generating enough water to fill up all of our reservoirs. That's another thing that we did. Oh, nice. We have so much food now. Look at that. 157. Probably a lot of farms. Yeah, a lot of farms are finishing now. Chat's been behaving. LOL. Misbehaving? Oh, I, I see. You're just saying that chat's been behaving? Yes. Yes, it has. Oh, no, it's all good.
Town Hall's finally upgrading, so that's nice. All right, so I think we decided on Science of Order. I don't even remember, it's been so long. But I think we did decide Science of Order, so I'm gonna go ahead with it. All right, engineering and pesticides and fertilizer. So we finally have more unemployed nuggets as well, which is great. Um, educated nuggets is actually up too, so that's good. Um, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and queue up the cement factory. I guess we'll just continue building all this industrial out here. I mean, there's really no reason not to, right? So I guess if this is where we're going to be building everything, let's go ahead and build uh, two warehouses, I think. Oh, that is not where I wanted that. Let's go ahead and build it just like that. And get a courier's hut. There we go. Nice, thank you for filling one of the reservoirs. Um, yeah, none of these water pumps have been getting worked on at all. So we might be struggling through winter again with that. We'll see what happens though. A running theme so far yes it is um, basically running out of every single resource has been a running theme right now can we actually build on this I don't think we can oh we can sweet that's pretty cool actually oftentimes you can't build out on these islands Um, let's see here. Yeah, we're going to have to get an engineering hut out here. This is going to be a perfect place for a lighthouse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you could have been trying to poison it.
Well, Azdini, um, you can't really poison it now. Well, you can't get arrested for it, at least right now, because we don't have a law enforcement station. So, I guess there's that. But we're going to be building one right now, so maybe be careful for the future. Now, where do we want to make this? That is the question. Should we make this central? No. It's, I, I like having it close to the prison. I think that makes more sense. All right, you guys, new vote. Here we go. Creator points or wood? What do you guys think I need most? Uh, or you could spawn a UFO, I guess. That is theoretically another option you could do. Sacrifice it? What do you mean sacrifice it? What would I be sacrificing? I don't know what you mean. Alright, so we have a tie. This is an interesting predicament. But I think it is going to go with UFO because that was the first one. What was that? Oh, we already have a UFO. We don't need another UFO, do we? Please don't crash into a residential building. Alright, nice. There. Ah, oh, Sixec, you're you're uh, contributing to our uh, food. Thank you for that. Ah, oh, same with you, honey. You are also moving to a farm. All right, so chat summon a UFO. Congratulations, you guys. Let's go find where this UFO is. There it is. Sorry, guys. This one's not going to live very long. Half the chat traders. <laughs> so, just to remind you guys, I will be taking a break in about 20 minutes for food. Um, because just like nuggets, I also require consumption of nutrients. This has been a lot of fun. You guys have made this definitely a lot, uh, well, very enjoyable. Uh, very enjoyable experience with streaming. Of berries and mammoths? Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Oh, Malbrick, you're not you're not right to arms this time. Nice, thank you for that. All right, let's go ahead and make the prison.
<laughs> we will go for it then. All right. I mean, you also waited at a very good time for nobody else to be able to win unless, uh, you know, for the chat to decide because the Nuggets already had already voted. Oh, thanks, babe. Thank you for that. Tactical voting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's, like, illegal. <laughs> I, th I think that's fixing the ballot. Oh no! Too bad. The game crashed. Oh jeez. You guys blew up the whole... I was actually talking... Yeah, I was talking to my dad about that last night. Because I was talking to him about me streaming today. And, uh... Asdini, the game's not running right now. <laughs> it crashed. Oh, it's going to be rolling back a little bit. That's too bad. I know, LOL. Okay. All right. Well, as long as you know. All right, let's get back into this then. Where are you at? I'm in Saskatoon, Canada. I am in Eastern America, Eastern United States. You're from Greece? That's pretty cool. Malbrick's in the UK. I think I knew that Malbrick. I think you said that one of the times that uh, you commented. I think you were talking about how the stream was would work as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool how everybody's spread out. Eleven forty five at night. Yeah, it's only four forty five for me right now. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how much, uh, of uh, how many people internationally watch my videos and stuff. It's kind of cool. Sometimes I look at my analytics and I'm like, wow, 
somebody from like Thailand is watching. This is crazy. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I didn't know I had anybody who watched me from Greece though. So that's pretty cool. You win laziest in room at 2.45 p.m. Well, I mean, I don't know if it would be considered lazy if I've been streaming for four and a half hours. Is that considered lazy? I don't know. All right, let's open up C's box. Or is it lazy to watch it? Hmm. Yeah, Malbrick, you have been here the longest by far. Um, oh, I also just realized I haven't even enabled the Twitch integration again. I mean, it's not going to be long um, because I'm going to be leaving in th 13 minutes, but I'll re-enable it for the time being. Uh, it's Warkey's nice try. I was your 200th sub. Well, thank you for that. All right, do you guys think we should open this box, yes or no? Yay or nay? I won't take a yes or a no. It has to be a yay or a nay. Oh, why? Okay, so yay. Yee? I mean, that's close. Alright. I have considered using a face cam. Currently, my backdrop is not good enough. That is the one of the only reasons I have not used a face cam. Uh, when I go back to college, I will consider it. Consider using it. Because I actually have an idea. I have an idea for my room at college, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. But we'll see what happens. All right. Um, do, do, do. I don't even remember this thing coming around. Ah, oh, please don't demolish anything. Please. Just keep flying this way. Yes? Perfect. Yeah, Malbrick, <laughs> you are always... Whoa. Malbrick, you're pretty unlucky, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the worst one in the game. I don't think there's anything that's worse than that. Yup. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, 
Are you guys really just gonna let, let, let the Nuggets vote? I have not. I've never... Um... Yeah, so I've never... You guys froze at a really good timing, I guess. Um, yeah, so I've never done a run-through. At least I was successful on stream. Um, I've had previous streams that I've attempted to stream. Where... Yeah, that was really close, you guys. Really, really close. Um, I've had attempts of streaming... Um, but every single time I ever attempted it before this one, uh, the stream, for some reason, kept crashing. And I don't know why, so at that stream, I basically gave up. Um, there's also nobody viewing as well. Um, this is the first Universum stream where I've actually had viewers. So, because of that, um, you know, I have not done anything with the clone factories before. Um, in fact, I didn't even know that you could customize chats, uh, nuggets in the clone factory. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's pretty cool that it is. All right, we got to get ourselves our prison. Uh, spooky boy. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you got made into a zombie that couldn't die. That's actually pretty funny. That is really funny. You finally got your account back. Well, good. I'm glad. Have you been trying? How long have you been trying to get your account back? Oh, shoot. We don't have any water, guys. I can't change the season. Guess I'm gonna have to trickle. Use the good old trickle effect. Whoops, not forestation. Hey, Mervin man, how's it going? Maybe 10 minutes? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. I was wondering if you've been watching for like an hour or something like that and you weren't able to uh, chat at all. Uh, thank you, honey, for filling the reservoir. That helps out a lot. All right. So UFO, death, or wood. What do you guys want to give me? What do you guys want to do to me before I have to go and eat? Please be helpful. Wood. Okay. And death. Thanks, six sec. I like to know where your where your heart's at. Okay, UFO, wood, wood. <laughs> All right, it looks like wood's gonna win. Thank goodness. Well, thank you guys for giving me the wood.
Spooky boy, you have to put a hashtag first. But, um... You don't use Twitch very often, so I forgot my password. Yeah, that's understandable. I don't use Twitch very often either. Thanks for the donation of wood, you guys. It means a lot. Spooky boy is a little too late now. Alright, so I think that's going to be where we leave off. That's a lot of upgrades. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we actually got through a lot of research. <laughs> Spooky boy, you're doing it correctly. It's hashtag death, but the vote is gone now. The vote is done. Time is up. You guys voted for wood. Alright, so yeah, you, we made it pretty far through the research. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we were able to make it, you know, all the way uh, to spacesuits or something. Um, you know? What in the heck? Spooky boy, I don't know what's going on with you, but... I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to end off the stream here. Um, so let's go ahead and quickly uh, save. Save together. Um, so. There we go. <laughs> Your stream might be delayed. Um, that could be... Um, yes, that could be an issue. But it might be better when I come back in an hour. When will I continue? I will continue at 6. Um, so 6 EST, um, which is in exactly one hour. One hour and two minutes from now. So, I don't remember what you said your time zone was, 6 sec, but whenever it is, uh... So, it'll be around 1 a.m. for you. So, you might be at the bed, but that's okay. Um, I will set up another stream sometime where we can continue this in the future. Um, that will be announced again, you know, on my YouTube videos. Maybe we'll even do it more often where it's like Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know that I have enjoyed. It's been, a, it's been a blast talking with you guys and also playing the universe sim with the integration. You're already in bed, lol. Okay, well, um, well, anyway, uh, have a good one, you guys. I will see you guys back in about an hour and, uh, you know, then we'll just continue where we left off. So, thank you guys. Have a good one.